Oh, hi everybody. Figured I'd make a video on my Chinese copy Hawk 982 12 gauge pump shotgun. There's a couple of them out there, but I want to do my spin on it. <clears throat> oh man, this thing's really, really heavy. But, um,. This is a pretty obvious. It's a copy of an 870. Pretty much everything 870 will work on here, roughly. Except for the barrel. The uh, Your four ends will work. You just have to have the, uh, the action bars and then the, the action tube that's inside of here. You can put an 874 end on here. That's what's on here right now. I had a junk one laying around because I didn't want to tear up the the one that came on this. It's because I had to cut it over on this side. I'll show you here in a little bit for it to work with the side saddle. And your bolt will not work. Your uh, trigger assembly will not interchange because I've already tried it because this has a plastic housing. But it has a metal trigger. I wanted to take this metal trigger out and put it in my... Uh, my 870 Express Magnum and quite literally it um, would not work it's not even remotely close different thicknesses different lengths I mean just by looking at it you won't be able to tell but this like it bottomed out and there were I still had to keep going like this trigger guard is it's flat whereas the 870s are rounded and they're shorter like it hugs tighter to the ring or the uh, trigger this is big, big and open enough to where you could you could fire this with a glove on. This I added on here. This is an ATI stock. Believe it or not, I bought this off of Amazon before Amazon started being stupid. And it came with a whole bunch of little adapter plugs for the 870, uh, Winchesters, and it came with one for Mossberg. Pretty much the major brands, and I mean it works good. You get you get a real good high grip on it, a nice soft rubber butt pad, and I mean it's soft. It's not hard, but then I put a light on here, just a cheap light, you know, nothing fancy, but. I mean, this is a very cheap and inexpensive gun. I remember seeing these at pawn shops for like 200 bucks. I mean, they're stupid cheap, but there are some downsides. If something breaks on this gun, you can't send it back to Norinco. You can't send it over back overseas to have it fixed. You, as the consumer buying the gun would have to either fix it yourself find a gunsmith to fix it or just sell it and go get another one or go get something else but i'm going to tell you this i mean they're not bad guns they're not bad shotguns they're not really made out of poor grade steel i mean they're really not the receiver is is actually thicker than my 870 you know this lip in here it's not it's not curved in okay kind of like that it's straight okay i can feel that that's over an eighth inch thick oh and um i added a side saddle to it 870 it interchanges you can put anything 870 side saddles will work on your hawk 982s okay as you can see in the thing where i said i had to cut on it a little bit <coughs> you do get <coughs> you do get ghost ring sights stock with your hawk 982 <clears throat> and there's something that else that I want to show 870 guys I don't know 
if it's been done before or someone's showed a video but someone showed me this who's a former marine i got a lot of respect for the guy how to unload this gun without having to hold this down and then push your finger over and then push your finger over here to disconnect the the shell release Mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is this right here there's a shotgun shell in there but don't worry it's not gonna go in the chamber Those of you who are gun guys can see exactly where I'm going with this. The lifter that lifts up the shotgun shell is down. Okay, if I keep going, okay, now watch. Okay, all right, now watch. Watch this. Okay, that's locked. I'm gonna do this again. See how the rim's exposed is caught on the one extractor over here. But you don't have to stick your finger in here and then walk it out. Now watch. Close the shotgun, comes out. It's right there on the table. Nothing even went remotely close to going in to the receiver. And I push it back forward. It sets the rim up on the uh, right side of the extractor right there. Push down on this. Now I gotta push down with this hand. Do, 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 do. Bring it back. Push down. Now I gotta bring it back just a little bit more. Push down. Not a problem. Rather than this going into like the firing pin area or even getting chambered. Okay, this goes into here. There's nothing back here that's going to set that, that primer off whatsoever. That's how I was taught to unload, unload my shotguns. And it's, it's really simple. It's really, really, really crazy simple. You just push on your, your action release. Push, bring it back just a little bit to where your, your lifter will catch. In the position, bring it back, bring it up. It's relatively easy. It's a lot of fun. It's not. It's not necessarily fun, but it's. It's more enjoyable doing that than you know pressing over here, or pushing over here on some models, than to just let it you know come up, or to. You know, risk having a negligent discharge by by racking it and letting it cycle through. I mean, that's just me. I figured I'd put this this info out there. You know, just to have out there for you know people to use. You know, the knowledge is key. But oh, you can see where I cut on it. This thing is kind of like my beater shotgun out on the farm. Um, when I'm out in the combine and whatnot, or out doing stuff, this thing right here goes with me. Um, now when it's deer season, I won't take it with me because I don't want to get stopped and get accused of, you know, shooting deer or something stupid like that. But <clears throat> this is a pretty awesome, cheap alternative to a lot of other guns and the receiver's thicker and I've done a little bit of research and I'm not going to regurgitate or reuse YouTube information as far as the barrel lugs go because the barrel lug on this is 
further forward than an 870. I think the, the Chinese done that more so as you can't interchange the 870 parts so they couldn't get sued for copyrights. I'm pretty sure that's the reason for them doing that, not to make it stronger. It, it may make it a stronger action. It may not, but I am going to say this. It, it won't focus, but right there you can barely see something. Anyway, that says 2 and 3 quarter or 3 inch. I'm going to tell you right now, you put a 3 inch deer slug through this gun and your action is going to shoot straight back and eject the shell. It's not going to hold that pressure. At least on mine, it don't do that. So I only shoot 2 and 3 quarter through it. It's not that big of a safety concern. It's not going to blow up my gun. It's just, it's just a pain in the ass. But I gave... Oh man, I gave 200 and some odd dollars for this. Brand new. Never used. It's a damn good gun. I bought it at Rural King. I got quite a few Rural King guns. Because they were kind of cheap. But this is something that... You know, I just keep here at the house now. Sometimes. But, well, I'm going to get off here, y'all. I'm going to make a video of me shooting this at some point in time and doing some tactical reloads. But, I'm going to get off here, y'all. Hope you have a good day. Bye.